Yes. Good evening, DeCarla. Good evening, Lisa. Having you on this evening. Uh, now, DeCarla, in the eight years, how would you assess the growth of the industry in Barbados? Oh, I, I would like to think and say that it has, in fact, grow, grown by leaps and bounds. The festival itself comes on the cusp of the, the creative arts programs at the UWA and the Cave Hill campus. For several years, we're proud to say that we welcome Barbadian entries. We've had from students and even alumni of those both both of those creative arts programs and you know you see the growth and development in terms of the output and the stories being captured by Barbadian filmmakers it is always quite exceptional um, to have an international festival like the Barbados Independent Festival to be the platform for local filmmakers um, is an outlet the festival in its eighth year continues to invite and seek the interest of international filmmakers. And you could imagine that when the filmmakers get together, the kind of cross fertilization and discussions that they have. Um, as long as the festival has been going for the last eight years, we have presented the collaboration grant, which has um, fortunately brought international filmmakers with Barbadian filmmakers to make short stories um, based on something about Barbados. Um, because they're working together, their stories, um, they realize that they're quite similar. And it also gives impetus for the Barbadian filmmakers to continue their work, um, no. knowing that their struggle because of a creative sector is quite similar. Yeah, DeCarla, I'm hearing that, and you're talking about the grant that has been given for that fostered this cross fertilization of development. And in terms of development, we know how important funding is. So, has the sector been able to access a steady sources of funding? Well, coming out of um, the COVID pandemic, I will say that we have been on a rebuild, and it has been. Um, challenging, as you can imagine, as so many sectors try to regroup and, and resettle. But knowing that, you know, the arts and film as is, is an art, a creative study, we have lot, we have benefactors who truly believe in the supporting of, of these projects, not so much as um, perhaps in the, in the past, as is noted, the way we rebuilt, but they're very much a quite supportive. Um, what we would try to do um, through the festival, of course, is the promotion or the further promotion of the importance of film. As you know, um, generally, as you open with the Orient economy, that is one point that Barbados is looking at in terms of economic diversification. And just last year in our seventh season, the prime minister would have announced in her budget the opportunities for the tax rebates for film production companies locally and internationally. And I mean, these um, rebates are similar to what you will find across the world, different states in the US, Croatia, um, Singapore, the 25% rebate that we are looking forward to is is quite similar on, and, and um, equivalent, I should say, and that along with perhaps promoting f local filmmakers in terms of filmmaking, that it will also um, prove to be quite lucrative for international production companies to collaborate with Barbadian production companies and Barbadian filmmakers in various departments. So have we started to see then the benefits of those rebates that were promised? Um, have we seen any international companies coming in and, and taking advantage of those or local companies as well? Well, we know we've, we've, we've noted um, succession has had episodes here um, as well as outer banks. Um, persons are, are keep asking about it, but we do know that the process is continuous because um, I's must be dotted and T's, and T's crossed. But it is causing a buzz around the world because they do want to sample what Barbados has to offer. And I think it's very important that hopefully we do start um, to generate the benefits from the rebates because it allows for training opportunities similar to what we do in our collaboration grant with the festival, but greater um, training opportunities as larger companies come in and work with our um, team and resources here in Barbados. 
Can you then tell me finally, DeCarlo, what are some of the other needs of the sector at, at present outside of funding? Ooh, funding funds so much, Lisa. <laughs> um, we do, in fact, um, yes, we do require the funding because the funding also allows for um, training. As it, as it did allude to, and exposure in terms of persons who have greater experience. Mm -hmm. um, the diversity of programming is very important. Mm -hmm. And so in as much as we have some of the important departments already covered in film, there are larger departments that we should also be considering, as well as the equipment to actually um, fulfill some of those projects. Okay, DeCarla, thank you so much. Uh, a lot to talk about with the film industry. That is DeCarla Applewit, who is the director of the local film festival.